In the last video, we brainstormed of the types of products that we create, we can create. And I've put that list of products here on this video. I've also added one more type of product we can create, and that's audio lessons. I've added that to the bottom of this list. Now, first type of product on this list is software. And software is the type of product with the highest perceived value. Okay, so you could charge more for software than almost any type of product. And most likely, if you're 99% of the people out there, you're going to outsource most of the product creation for software. And if you're starting from scratch, it can cost you thousands of dollars, possibly even over $10,000. Now, however, you can purchase rights to software that is already created. For example, you could go to a site called CodeCanyon.net and you could buy licenses to some products. You could also contact some of the creators of these software products, scripts, codes, uh, WordPress plugins, etc., and ask them if it's okay for you to modify the code so that you have a totally new product, okay, and that you could rebrand the product under your name. Because I believe you, there are uh, a couple of different types of licenses you could purchase on the site but if you were to contact the creator of these software products they may allow you to do more uh, than what is mentioned on the site now if you want to write an ebook you can do it yourself or you could outsource it to sites like fiverr.com and there are plenty of freelance sites out there but fiverr Dot com is the most popular. Same thing with graphics, Fiverr.com. I've actually outsourced a package of graphics on there and I've sold it as a pack of graphics. I even offered rights to it. I think I offered private label rights to it a few years back and I got plenty of sales and good leads from this offer. Um, you could also create video tutorials and again, you could outsource it to Fiverr.com and other freelancing sites. Now, in terms of making your videos, uh, the types of videos th that I make are on-screen videos, and I use Camtasia for that. I believe the current price tag for Camtasia is around $200, but there are several software products in the market that are you know, much cheaper than Camtasia, and there are also free tools out there for creating videos, so you just have to do your own research for that. Now, if you want to write something and you don't feel like you have enough content or you don't feel confident that you could call it an actual book, you could just call it a report. So if you've only written a couple pages on a certain topic, you could just call it a report or you could even outsource that on Fiverr.com. So if you cannot afford to hire someone to write a book for you, uh, it'll pro probably be a lot cheaper just to hire someone to write a two to five page report. And the same goes with articles. Our articles are a lot cheaper. And actually what you could do is just outsource the creation of about five to 10 articles and then compile that and make that into a report. You can also sell royalty free images. And what you could do is find images that are in the public domain. One such site is freeimages.com. You can go there and you could find images that are in the public domain and you could do whatever you want with these images. You could sell them, give them away for free. You could even offer rights such as reseller rights and developer rights to these images. And lastly, you can create audio lessons. And this is perfect for anybody who is not an expert on the particular topic because you can basically interview someone else who is an expert through Skype and then you could sell that recording. 